Hello and welcome to the video. This video is about how to program something called a logical switch to control something like brake lights. Now it's for this gentleman here and he's saying that he can't get an answer. Well, that's because you haven't asked on this channel. Now this is the Radio Master MT12 running Edge TX. If we power it up, you'll see that's what it says. There we go. And what we need to do is to be able to control lights on a car. And that's really what this is all about. Now I have already done a video about this. Um, I'll put a link down below using something like a Menace RC radio control switch. You can control the lights. And actually on a truck that I was making back at the, those days, I made it so that I could control the kind of bull bar lights at the top using a switch. However, in a radio like this, as well as having physical switches that we can use for things, there are logical switches too, that inside the radio act as though they're a physical switch. We can still use them in exactly the same places that we would use a physical switch for stuff. Now, the cool thing about logical switches is that logical switches can be made to turn on or off by pretty much anything in the radio. So you could have it so that as a particular channel value changes, that maybe the logical switch is triggered, and that's what we're going to use here. It could be something like, for example, a telemetry sensor. So it could be the actual voltage of the battery in the model. Once it falls below a certain level, it triggers a logical switch. That logical switch could then be used to do something like turn on some lights on the model to let you know that that had happened. So logical switches are really, really powerful. So let's just go and remind ourselves how we add a regular switch onto an extra channel. So we'll go into the model menu, we'll zoom across and we'll go into the mixes. And here we have lots of different mixes. We'll add another channel, we'll select channel five, we'll highlight the input and press enter and we'll flick a switch and then press enter again and come out of all of that. And now when we look at channel five on the monitor, as I flick that switch, you can see that value changing. So that would then, channel five, we'd connect to the radio controlled switch that was controlling the lights. And there we have it. As I flick the switch, the lights will come on and off. And that's what we did before. However, what's being asked this time is, can it be done automatically via the trigger? And the answer is logical switches. So let's do that. So let's go back into the model zoom across and this time we're going to keep going until we find something called logical switches and we're going to create one by pressing the enter key now the function there's loads of different functions but we want when a is more than x okay because the way it works is that the throttle in the middle channel position when we're not pulling it is zero when we pull it one way it goes to minus 100 in the radio when we push it the other way it goes to plus 100 so we want it when it's when the throttle is greater than a value so what we'll do is we'll go down and we'll select the throttle and we'll just pull the throttle so it's the throttle channel it's using we'll set v2 to be a couple above so when it's at the middle position we have to kind of be pressing the brake for it to happen and then that's done so if we come out of here we can check if the logical switch is activated. At the moment, L01 here on the left-hand side isn't bolded. If I brake, it doesn't come on. If I accelerate, it does. You see that's going bold there? So what we need to do is we just need to change that a little bit. So let's just edit that and we'll make it so when then A is less than X. See, this is where all that stuff that you did at school that you thought you're never going to use comes in very handy. So when A is less than X, again, select the throttle. Again, I would say minus five or six then, just so it doesn't happen accidentally. Come out of that. And now when I break, logical switch one is active. So now we can use that logical switch where we used everything else before. If we zoom back over to the mixes, rather than the mixes, be controlled and we'll edit by a physical switch. And if I press and hold enter, it then allows us to pick what kind of input we want to control it with. And you can see here that we have lots of things, switches being one of them. So if we zoom through all of these, 
will eventually find logical switch one. So now channel five is now managed by logical switch one, which only comes on when I'm braking. So now if I come out of all this and we look at log channel five, when I brake, you can see here when I'm braking, channel five now goes high. And if channel five is connected to that menace RC switch or something else, that is now going to control those lights and you can wire that up to something like the brake lights on your model. Hopefully that answers the question for you. Logical switches are incredibly powerful things in things like Open and Edge TX. Go and check out the rest of my videos on this kind of stuff. I'll put a couple of links below if you want to know more. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.